Hi, it's Nell, and I found a birdhouse on the street. You know how I'm always uh, picking up things here and there? And I painted it, and I am going to transform it into a little Christmas centerpiece. And of course, I'm going to use succulents, so stick around. Here's a before on the birdhouse. Boy, it's in need of a cleaning and a little sprucing up. And here is the lovely little birdhouse. It's been painted. I did a little brush of silver here and there just to give it a little sheen, just like the sun was hitting it on a snowy day. And I do know snow because even though I live in, even though I live in Southern California, I'm from New England, so I remember those snowy days. And I just got a glue gun, so this is the first time I'm using it for these few crafts, so hopefully it's going to hold on here because this is how I'm going to attach the succulents onto the roof because as you can see the roof has quite a pitch to it <laughs> so I need some base for these things to stay on so funny using a glue gun of course this glue gun is tiny but I have my big old glue pan too for those bigger jobs this gives them a little time to dry too because this glue doesn't heat up as hot as in my glue pan so that glued on here obviously this is the front of the birdhouse even, even though the back is is adorable too okay so now it's time to attach these succulents onto here so you need to cut the stems almost all the way off just to get them just to get the succulents to stay on I like these because they're nice and flat so they're just gonna glue in there beautifully and if you're new to hot glue you have to hold it for a while just to get it to stay otherwise it's gonna come right off I must say on on these mini glue guns you go through glue sticks like crazy I'm already out of glue again and here we, d we don't have any snow we just have a lot of a lot of succulents so it just sort of makes sense for our holiday season I've seen a few few buildings that have the living roof so this is like a living roof with just a little bit of frost I don't want to get too much weight on the moss <laughs> on this pitch of a roof anyway if the roof was flat, it'd be fine, but this is like a roof in the Alps. All right, so I already put some of the, the seeded eucalyptus on. I love this. I collected, I glittered it so it has a little bit of sparkle. So we're just going to glue a few of these on, and they just add that little bit of ethereal sp sparkliness. I'm going to add one up here, a, a leaf. I love these love this plant when it's fresh or when it dried I used it in that arrangement I just did a few a few weeks ago with all the fruits and things so now that gives the roof a frosty appearance without having to cover the whole thing completely I want a little bit more sparkle here and there so I'm, I'm going to take this leaf apart and I use some of the vintage snow glitter with um, diamond dust and iridescent glitter so this is a mix of glitter and this um, the uke just tucks in here behind the moss and then you can just hit it with a little bit of glue and it stays on just fine and this is the, the vintage snow with the glitter that I love as you can tell I'm very serious about my glitter I bought <laughs> 25 pounds of it Know what I'm going to do with all of it who knows but I put a few um our frosty branches in the back here uh, it doesn't necessarily have to be a centerpiece I'm doing it like it's on a table and it has a back actually and then I have a little wreath to hang up here I, I don't think I, I'm, I'm gonna glue it on because it's just gonna stay on there and then oops I need to get my bird okay so I'm just gluing the bird in place because 
every bird, every bird house needs a bird, and that's cute little vintage bird. Just going to add in a few cones. These are some liquid amber pods I collected. Balance it out on both sides. And there you have a good use of a found birdhouse. Oh my goodness, I was so hungry when we filmed the ending to this video. By the time it came around, I lost my creativity. So here's another finished product I just put together. Just a few more succulents and things to draw it out. If you don't have succulents, you can um, certainly use pine or fur or something like that. And it would be lovely on an entry table or on a corner table. So I hope you are inspired to make a birdhouse of your own if you have one hanging around. It's a good use of it. Have very festive for the holidays. And please subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming your way. Thanks for all your comments and your likes. I really appreciate them. Happy holidays. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye.